about buying the uh, the Wombat planting tool. Just going to give you a quick demo on the one I've been using for quite a few years now. Um, these were actually uh, a design of ours um, because we couldn't find anything out there in the market um, that could do the job. Uh, this was uh, designed uh, by a company uh, in the ACT that manufacture steel products. This is made from toughened steel. You, you will not kill this. Like it is, it is so tough. Um, we've had it run over by excavators. We've had them fall off uh, trucks. Um, we're digging into rock. It's a pretty versatile tool. It's going to explain some of the features to it. This has a, a cutting edge on the front here, basically for cutting into rock. Um, there's also a pinch point here for getting out roots and things. Uh, these points here um, are basically all sharpened um, and that's good for raking. So bringing that soil, if you haven't got quite a big enough hole yet, to dish it out and get quite a nice deep hole. And this is the planting point here. Um, you can sort of see it's got a bit of a curve in that there. And what that is designed to do is actually to fit, that's a native forestry tube. And that's been designed so it will, um, to fit that tube um, uh, when you're digging out the, the soil. So I'm just gonna show you a bit more about that now, how that's gonna work. So we're gonna dig our hole out, dish it out nice and deep, so we can fit enough water in there. Again, we're putting a small boomerang swale in through here, so any water that comes down the slope will fall in and keep this all hydrated, making sure that we've compacted that down too because we don't want to have any sort of settling in the hole. Um, so once we've got our plant, this is the native grass, this is a thetama, a native kangaroo grass. Give it a bit of a hit with some mycorrhiza. Now find the center of our hole, that goes straight in. This comes in behind it, and that falls straight in the hole. Simple as that. The Wombat Planning Tool.